Hi everyone, welcome to Wild Mayhem and I'm Kim. And I'm Samantha and we're a mother and daughter who love all things sewing. So today we're here with a very exciting collaboration. Mm. Uh, so it's been in the works for quite a few months yes, it now. Has. <laughs> so this is with Kelly and Dee who are sisters of Stitchcraft. And we thought that this would be really, really fun because they podcast together, they're two friends. Yes. And we video together as well. Yeah. So we thought that it'd be really nice, like both pairs. So this collab was a trouser collab, so we were quite nervous about that because we don't generally make things for the bottom half. No. <laughs> we generally do tops or dresses. But yes. we were excited to have something a bit different to challenge us a little bit. Yeah. So this has been through many iterations. So uh, Kelly and Dee had already decided on the pattern that they were going to do and they've stuck with that. So we'll link their channel down below so that you can watch their video after ours. Um, and so we've been through, I think, three patterns? Yes, I think so. So eventually we settled on Simplicity S8841. So we made these as a practice run for our Mummy and Me collab, which we'll also link down below. And we liked them, but we weren't 100% happy with the fit. Yeah. So they were really, like, low-waisted, which I never wear things that are low-waisted, and you don't need them. No. Well, actually, when you look at the picture, they are a little low-waisted, but we didn't notice at the time but yeah I, we both prefer a high waist yeah so we decided that we would we had a look at what how high much higher we wanted them to be and we both did the same adjustments mm -hmm. so we added an inch onto the waist the height of the waistband and an inch onto the rise of the pants and they're actually perfect mm -hmm. aren't they they're really nice now so they sit quite quite a bit higher than where the original ones were and they feel really comfortable so it actually has elastic all the way around and that was what I made the version last time but for this one I thought I would try having a flat front I'd seen other people do it and I thought I'll see if I you know if I like that so I've got the flat front in mind so it goes from just from the side there and then around the back is the elastic so it's all elasticated at the back and then it's got the two beautiful pockets on the front and it's a three quarter length with just the plain hem on the bottom. So I, I use this beautiful blue fabric which sort of got like a leaf print on it, which I thought just was really nice to have a patterned bottom as opposed to a plain, which we always tend to make plain things. And I thought, well, I do actually have a lot of plain tops, so this would actually go really perfect with it. So I'm actually thrilled with the fit and I really like this pattern. It's really quite easy to make too, isn't it? It's a really nice, easy make. So you're going to make more? I'm definitely going to make more. Yes, I've actually got a, a, um, a plain piece of pink fabric that I'd like to make another pair out of. Because I think once you find one that you really like the fit, it's nice to make a few mm -hmm. more of them. Yeah, and I, I really do like the fit. And now that the waistband's higher, I'm really happy with it. I probably wouldn't worry about doing the flat front again because it's nice either way, isn't it? But it doesn't make a huge difference having the flat front. They're not very gathered anyway. No, true. Yeah. So these are my pants here. So I used a black based fabric and then it's got like, they're sort of like grey flowers. Yeah. So I did it fully elasticated and mine are a bit more elasticated because we raised them a bit. They obviously sit close to my waist so the elastic was a bit tighter but I think they're still really nice. Oh they look really nice on you. Thank you. And then I've got the pockets here, and actually you can't really see them because it's not on your fabric. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're actually really hard to see when you've got them on. Um, again, they're sort of three quarter, but mine are a bit of a longer three quarter because I have shorter legs than you. <laughs> um, and I'm really thrilled with these. And it's actually funny because I've never really been in three quarter pants. No, you haven't. Whereas I love them. Mm. Yeah. But I, I'm really, really thrilled with these, and I just love the fabric so much. And I think that it's really nice having the thicker waistband. I wasn't a huge fan of the size of the waistband on the other one. It was very thin, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it, like, the size of, uh, what do you call it? Elastic. Elastic, yeah. That I used, it was very, like, close to the, like, yes. the width of the waistband. <laughs> yeah. The other thing that I really like about these is, you probably can't really see, but they're not wide leg but they're not too fitted like they're a really nice width of leg they are actually aren't they mm. yes they fit yeah. us both really really nice yeah yeah overall i'm really really happy with them mm. yeah i would make more too oh i'm pleased to hear that 
<laughs> I've converted you to the three-quarter pants. Yes, I'm part of that vlog now. <laughs> so when we were going through our stash looking at fabrics to make our pants out of, both of them had about three meters, which is a lot more than you need for a pair of pants. Mm. So we had a bit of a brain wave, and we thought that we would make a little sleeveless top to match with the pants, so it'd be like a bit of like a twin set. Yeah. So we've had this vintage pattern in our stash for ages, the McCall's 8828, and we've been meaning to make it, but we've just never got around to it. And when we were thinking about making a little sleeveless top, we thought that that pattern would be absolutely mm. perfect. Yes. So this is my top here. So I made the size 8 in this, which is the smallest that the pattern goes, because I wanted it to be more oversized, to I thought that would look really good with the pants. So in the back, I haven't done the keyhole opening because I just didn't need it. Like I could get it over my head perfectly fine, so I just thought that I'd leave it plain. But on the inside, I kept the facing that you would generally use if you were doing the keyhole. So it's actually really nice because it goes down a long way and it sort of keeps it in a little bit better because facing the tend to just like pop out. Mm. And then I've got a nice thick hem on the bottom. And I really like doing that on tops because I think that it just weighs it down really nicely. That's one of the things that I really love about the Sagebrush Top by Friday Pattern Company. The ver um, version. View. The view. <laughs> the view that we actually used for this pattern was view E. So it's the little short sleeve one down the bottom there. And as you can see on the back, it does have the, the little keyhole back. So I didn't use the keyhole back either because... Probably because we sized up, I, I sized up as well because I wanted a more boxy fit as opposed to something close fitting. So it was so easy to get your head in and out. There was absolutely no need to do the keyhole back. And I actually like the way that when you've got the top looking like that, you're seeing the fabric instead mm -hmm. of seeing the back of the fabric. So I actually quite like that. So mine's just exactly the same as Caitlin's. The only problem with mine is I had I didn't have the front and the back are both cut on the fold and... I didn't have enough width in my fabric to do that so I just put a join down the back so that I could still get the top out so I'm really really happy with it though so we'll put a couple of pictures in of us wearing the, them together but I think having a little twin set is really nice. We've talked about it a few times haven't we we've never really got around to it or actually had the right fabric or pattern or but it just worked out perfect with these pants to um, to make this the little twin set yeah. And this was such a great pattern because there's no darts or anything. So it just basically it was just sewing the shoulder seams, side seams, then putting all the facings in and then it was done. Yeah, it was very simple. Yeah, it, I didn't actually mention it's got facings in the sleeve as well. But yeah, the construction was really easy, wasn't it? I found it really easy to put together, but a really nice little top. We, we did make it shorter than the, the pattern, mm. didn't we? Yeah, and I've got the, the thicker hem on there as well so yeah overall i'm really really happy with it so thank you to kelly and d for collaborating with us it was a lot of fun yeah we're actually looking forward to seeing what they've made definitely yeah. and don't forget to go and check out the channel until next time happy sewing